We have with us Tom Fishburn, creator of Marketunis. Tom, thank you so much for taking out the time. Thank you. And welcome to India and welcome to AdTech 2024. Thank you so much. It's a real treat to be here. So I hear this is the first time that you've been here at AdTech. How's your yes. experience been so far? So stimulating and exciting. It's so fun to see so many people here who are doing interesting things. What is the best thing that you've liked so far? I think within within ad tech, it's just been interesting to learn about brands that I'm not as familiar with sure. and how they're creating inroads with consumers here. Yeah. And there's some similarities with what I've experienced, yeah. but some real interesting nuances and different ways to communicate. But ultimately, we're all we're all challenged with the same types of issues. Got it. Uh, you know, Tom, you had the keynote and we kickstarted day two with you at ad tech. You spoke about brands that have managed to reinvent themselves specifically for Gen Z. Now, that's very interesting. Yes. So help us understand what is the kind of work that we're behind it and what have your findings been? Yes, so it's been interesting for me because I've never spoken about Gen Z as a topic yeah. before, although it's something that I've drawn a lot of cartoons about. True. My approach tried to take a bit of a big picture, yeah. ultimately to look to remind ourselves that Gen Z is not a monolith of people who think, feel, and believe exactly the same things. Yeah. But instead they're a way for us to see the future Correct. of the way things are coming. Yeah. So a big insight for me was how brands can listen to sometimes its most junior employees Correct. to give them a place where they can try things out in yeah. a safe atmosphere that can ultimately lead to reinventions for the brand. Yeah. And one of the examples I shared was Duolingo, Good which idea. ultimately over a few years completely reinvented itself based on work that was largely led by their 23-year-old social media manager. Yeah. So, you know, Tom, what is interesting for us at AdTech is that this becomes a confluence or an opportunity or a gathering for people from all walks of life, digital marketers, and to try and understand what is the next big thing, what should their brand strategy be, how do you manage to stand out. Uh, in terms of emerging trends, what are the kind of trends that pop in your head that you think will dominate conversations in 2024? I think we're going to see a lot of continuation of generative AI <laughs> yeah. and the best way to apply it. I think with, as with every new trend, yeah. sometimes there's a herd mentality to jump on the trend without Correct. making a strategy yeah. first. So I think in 2025, we'll start to see more of a nuanced appreciation for the strategy first, mm -hmm. and then how to apply your unique brand's needs with the trend, yeah. rather than everybody jumping on the bandwagon the same way. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you the other end of the spectrum now, which is, which are trends that you think will completely die down? It's interesting. I often think trends don't completely die out, but they much, you start to realize more nuanced in yeah. cases. Yeah. The metaverse is a big example in my book, True. where I think that there are applications and uses, yeah. but it's different than where we were a couple of years ago, where yeah. every brand had to have NFTs, and every brand was imagining how their brand experience in the metaverse would be. Yeah. I think we're going to get more sophisticated over time and find the right tools for the job. Uh, the other aspect that I want to understand from you, and I've had a lot of fascinating conversations about this, which is, is the cookie really crumbling? What is your take on it? I feel like it's uh, it's definitely it's definitely crumbling to the degree that's not the way it was a few years ago. Yeah. Brands need to think about why they really need the data that they have. Yeah. I feel like we're in a bit of an awkward adolescence yeah. stage in an appreciation of data. Yeah. And I think the best brand examples would be to use tailored one-to-one -one communication when that's right. really useful. And other times think about when sometimes the best personalization yeah. is no personalization. Right. So I think that there's an evolution on how sophisticated brands are and when to use you know, tracking device. Often it, yeah. it will change from the cookie we knew, yeah. uh, but we don't quite know what it'll look like. Yeah. And so brands need to stay adaptable and ultimately think about their strategy first and the right data to help advance that strategy. It's daunting and exciting both at the same it time, is. right? Because you don't know what's coming and that also makes it more exciting. Yes. Tom, this has been a pleasure chatting with you. Before you. I let you go, I have to ask you, if I had to ask you to sum up your experience at AdTech in one word, what would it be? Oh my gosh, endlessly entertaining. entertaining. Two words. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll take it. Yes, thank Tom, you. it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we hope you have a great day at AdTech for the rest of the time that you have in India. Thank you so much. Treat to be here. Thank you.